if I'm looking at applications, two triangles, or sorry, two angles in a triangle measure 60 degrees and 45 degrees. The longest side is going to be 10 centimeters longer than the shortest side. All right, well, let's start out with the information that I know. I know that I'm going to have the side lengths where the angles inside are one's going to be 45 degrees, one's going to be 60 degrees, and I can solve the last one 180 minus 45 minus 60 is going to equal 75 degrees. Now, I also know that the bigger the angle, the bigger the side length. So it says that the longest side is 10 centimeters longer than the shortest side length. Well, the longest side length is going to be opposite 75, and we're going to call that x plus 10, 10 centimeters longer than the shortest one. The shortest one is going to be opposite 45, and we're going to call that x. So we can say that we know for certain that x plus 10 divided by sine of 75 is going to equal x divided by sine of 45. I can state that x plus 10 divided by, well, sine of 75 to four decimal places is going to be 0. Point 9659, which would equal x divided by 0 0.7071. I can multiply out the denominators and say that I have 0 0.7071x plus 7.071 is going to equal 0 0.9. 6.59x. I'm going to move the x's to the left and get negative 0.2588x is going to equal negative 7.071, which means that x is going to be about 27.3, which means that this side length is going to be 27.3 centimeters, this side length is going to be 37.3 centimeters, and this side length I still need to solve for. So I'm going to say that y divided by sine of 60 is equal to 27.3 divided by sine of 45, or that this missing side length is going to be 27.3 times sine of 60 divided by sine of 45. The missing side length is going to be 33.4 centimeters. In the end, it wants what the perimeter of this is. Well, the perimeter is going to be 27.3 plus 37.3 plus 33.4, 98.0 centimeters. And there's my final answer.
For example, four, an airplane is flying over the town of Mathville between two tracking stations. The angle of elevation from station one is going to be 36 degrees, and from station two is going to be 48 degrees. So, I'm going to have my airplane up here. I'll call this station one. I'll call this station two. I have an angle of elevation here is going to be 36 degrees and the angle of elevation here is going to be 48 degrees. The distance between them is they are 1675 meters apart. What is the altitude of the plane to the nearest tenth of a meter? So we will be solving for what? that vertical height is going to be. But we currently don't have enough information for this. Right now, we can say that the angle at A, so the angle from the airplane looking at the two, in here, is going to be 180 minus 36 minus 48, or 96 degrees and we can use that along with one of the side lengths in order to solve what the other side length is so I can solve what side length 2 is given this information or I could have solved side length 1 but I'm going to solve side length 2 so I'm going to say that Side length 2 divided by sine of 48 is going to equal 1675 divided by sine of 96, or that side length 2 is going to equal 1675 times sine of 48 divided by sine of 96 1251.62 er, meters now because I have the right triangle that exists in here I've just solved for what the hypotenuse is. I know one of the angles and the height is going to be the side length opposite. So I'm going to say that sine of 36 degrees is going to equal the opposite h over the hypotenuse 1251.62 or h is going to equal 1251.62 times sine of 36. H is going to equal 735.7 meters.